Okay, I'm at 9,000 feet in a snow pit, and it's about four feet deep. And we can see the new snow that's fallen uh, since last Thursday, and that's fallen on top of a weak layer. Uh, it's a weak layer of small grain facets. We actually call them uh, near surface facets. And they formed during the spell of dry weather that lasted about two weeks um, prior to the snowfall. We're getting uh, stability test results of CT12, ECT14. Basically, we're seeing this layer right here propagate in our stability test, showing instability um, with kind of moderate force. Um, the take home message here is that with more snow, I would certainly expect this layer to break naturally. I would expect to see natural avalanches. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this as it starts getting more snow. When we look at the whole snow pit here, this layer right here is really easy to find. You don't need a hand lens. As soon as you shovel, you, the stripe kind of appears in the snow pit, so you want to look for that. And this is my number one concern in the entire snow pack. I'm still not forgetting about these weak facets at the ground, but this is taking precedent because this is even weaker than that is. So